Hey everyone, welcome to Soulfish. I am super duper happy you're here. If you are cold, being snowed upon, just know that I'm taking in this sunshine for you right now. I'm just going to take a quick moment and I'm thinking of you as I'm nice and warm and toasty this December. I'm not putting it out there like a haha, -ha. I'm just putting it out there letting you know that I'm taking it in for you, right? Because I'm taking it for the team, right? This, All of this. So, anyway, I think uh, part of this whole time we're in and what's occurring right now and um, <clears throat> I want to say theming for the week for people has been a lot to do with processing this information, with having some big things really click into place. And as you know, if you were waiting on this kind of big issue to happen, then all of a sudden these little issues which were dependent, all of a sudden you get to check mark those off, right? So we're in that kind of stage. So I guess I would call, you know, <clears throat> my presentation to you today a bit of a, of a mid-month energy update compiled with uh, talking about how this energy is working, why it's kind of more intense at times and less intense at others, but you're still feeling the same kind of flavor of it. It's just the, it's the intensity kind of, it's almost like somebody cuts the volume down, but they're, they left that same note there, right? You know, as it goes down. So it's that kind of a gig um, that's going on. I want to explain a little bit of that to you too. Um, <clears throat> and maybe that'll help you through this upcoming week and help you keep your stuff together in a very cool way and to keep focus. Um, because, you know, keep in mind that as things start to click in, guess what? You know, you've been asking for real direction, real like, you know, point me in this way, right? So something big happens for you that you really needed to happen that sets the course in some ways, right? And it does, and then all of a sudden, what happens next, right? You go, oh, is that really what I wanted? Because now I'm, I'm clicked in. Like, this is, I guess I'm going there now, right? Like, you get that all of a sudden kind of zhuzhy feeling, right? You with me? So don't do that. That's not, a, that's not what you're after. What you're after is, 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 you know, my son skateboards, and so he goes down in these bowls, right? And so if you're skateboarding into a bowl and you lean back, you are going to bust it. It's never going to happen. The crazy thing is like you have to lean all the way down into that bowl to, to ride it in. And that's what's happening now. You have to lean in. It means you have to commit. And your book too is starting up. It's taking form right now, which means that you have to say, this is okay. I'm ready. Like, give it to me right come from a really positive ready to go place not from a fearful i don't know what to expect because things are different kind of place <clears throat> be grateful they're different man you know you don't need the same life for years on years you've learned you got to grow you got to challenge yourself you got to find new sunshine so that your leaves spread out right and you're able to see what else is out there you've got to see what's in here You've got to figure out where you're coming from. So let's, let's talk about some of these waves of energy. I get a lot of questions of, well, what do you mean by waves? Or how does it change in intensity? Or why do we get this kind of, um, like an intense moment, right? Like you're, like you're under a sun lamp, right? And then somebody cuts it off and you kind of cool back down and then it's back on you again. And you kind of feel that whole gradient happening to you, you know, energetically. That's, that's, that's how, that's, a what's happening obviously in terms of what you're feeling but the way it works and I want you to think about it visually because this will help you think about your intensity of emotions as they're happening to you when, with awareness right so if you can imagine a sound wave that works like this or any wave right that works like this and so when you have a bunch of people so now think about this you get really let's say you're a person that gets overly sensified when you're with a bunch of people so imagine how about that? I'm not going to take that call. So imagine you're with a bunch of people and you have these waves, okay? Now remember how we're talking about holding your vibe up? So if these waves are coming at you and you have five people over here and they're all pushing these waves, well you're catching the top end of these waves, this most, the most um, intense portion, right? Now, take those guys and take those five guys and, and send them a hundred feet down that way. 
and you stay here. So we're here, they're down there. Now, all of a sudden, that distance means those waves, those vibes, have to travel farther to get to us. Which means by the time, in waves, any type of current loses power the farther it goes. So, in terms of energy waves, it's the same rule applies. So if they're vibing out a certain thing and the farther distance you have from that, then the intensity diminishes. Are you all with me? Okay. So now, now let's just say they're vibing a three and when they're up front, that three feels really intense. I mean, right? And it's really stirring up in you. And then we take them over there and all of a sudden it's still a three, but it's almost barely audible because they're over there, right? It's much like your radio. You hear it really close up to the speaker, you feel the vibrations even, but the farther you get back, the sound diminishes, right? The vibrations, you don't feel that as much, right? And so the same thing is happening, okay? So now imagine you're doing that with people, plants, animals, rocks, things, houses, whatever, where anything that holds energy, okay? Because this is all about energy and energy transfer, okay? And then you have the cosmic stuff happening on top of, and then you have the spiritual ethereal that works within the laws of this matter realm and pushes energy or pulls energy in certain ways based on electromagnetism and other things. So I'm throwing this at you to say that there is science to help explain why you feel the way you feel and it, with that understanding and even sometimes visualizing how those waves work you can be in a situation that would normally be highly kind of vibing you out and by visualizing some of this and how it's working you can almost start to manage that in some ways and then you get a feel for distance um, where we live I have like a there's a place there's a park like 10 minutes away and so because I'm on the edge of a of a neighborhood right now right near a national forest right I've got all of this expanse that really helps me out but I'm still feeding in and cleaning this whole you know this whole area around me <clears throat> so sometimes I just get a little much and I know that if I take some distance if I just get in the car and hit like 10 minutes I can't hike far and fast enough away to, to affect a real change fast enough but if I get in the car and take about five or ten minutes in a direction a particular direction then all of a sudden I can almost feel where the line ends and I'm like ooh, I can breathe again so just a helpful hint if you're starting to find yourself a little overwhelmed in that way so we're at a time right now where you know not only is this a big time of book two starting but now we mix the holidays in there and now you're dealing with people you do want to see and you don't want to see and you're having to spend time in places you know not necessarily where you want to be and a lot of times you're forced in these kind of people boxes right where you gotta be around a bunch of people and smile a lot right and put out this kind of vibe so you know all of this is transpiring and all of these things are positive and good things if you can be in that moment and so I really want to stress to you that instead of looking for what you know your expectations are right now um, particularly as it relates to friends family holiday stuff um, think more in terms of how you could make their holiday better and that's an easier way and it puts you of service and to be frank with you you know unlike the Saturnalia that's typically uh, celebrated here um, you know that's really what you wanted to be anyway which was of service and what better time than this time <laughs> to be of service when let's say people are distracted and not necessarily in their right frame of mind right in terms of being focused because they're everybody's distracted the end of the year new year starting you know the family the friends the presence right all of that cool stuff that's happening which is amazing but at the same time right sometimes it's a little overwhelming sometimes it's a little much sometimes it's not your quite your vibe and so the way to it helps me get through a lot of that a lot of times is to think more in terms of well, how can I be of service? How can I be helpful? You know, me showing up here, maybe I'll help somebody have a better time than they would have had if I wasn't there. Um, and what I find a lot of times is when I'm focused on that, um, my time is not only goes much quicker, obviously, but it's also much better, more satisfying, more fulfilling. So, again, it's really funny, you know, as you take stuff in and it starts to point you inward, what you're trying to do is learn from your inside, right? But what you're not trying to do is to be bound by that, by those limitations, by that viewpoint, by those fears. So the more you know yourself, the more you're able to open up because you're really clear on the space you're holding. And so things aren't able to penetrate or bother you or uh, 
uh, stick to you as bad. Well, again, you enjoy your sunshine today and make sure that you are spreading some sunshine today. That is our goal. And until next time, much love.